Hello everyone. Uh, this is a presentation for EL6509 Wireless Communication uh, Final Project. Uh, the topic is compar uh, comparison of PAPR reduction techniques for OFDM system. This is Quan Shi Li. Uh, this is the parts we will talk about in this project. Uh, first, I will talk about the pros and cons of OFDM system and what is OFDM system. Then, I will talk about why uh, PAPR is a problem in OFDM. Uh, then, I will do the simulation and show the result of, the, of this project. Uh, there are three uh, techniques used. And then I will do the conclusion and the evaluation for the for these three uh, uh, techniques. Then I will show you the related work. First, what is OFDM system? OFDM system is orthogonal frequency division multiplexing. Uh, comparing to the original uh, signal. Just like that, uh, OFDM system use different uh, subcarriers of uh, lower frequency to separate the spectrum. Uh, this is the time domain signal. This is the frequency domain signal. The cross of OFDM is it can you uh, has high spectral efficiency uh, as compared to other uh, schemes. Uh, it is because it uses a signal uh, scheme. So, uh, so just like that, uh, a lot of uh, subcarriers can, uh, can 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 cover each other. So the spectrum efficiency is very high uh, and uh, the other one is low data rate transmitted in these subcarriers it is because the uh, the frequency uh, uh, I mean the the, the data rate uh, decrease by the uh, subcarriers and the third one is robust against to Inter symbol interference. It is because it is orthogonal, so uh, there is no interference or field. Uh, fourth is robust again narrow band co channel interference, and uh, the fifth is efficient implementation use FFT. This is the cons of the OMPM system. First one is sensitive to software shift, and the second one high peak to average power ratio. Uh, I mean PAPR, and uh, this is the main topic we will talk about in this project. Uh, and uh, the third one is loss of the efficiency caused by uh, selling perfect scar interval. This is uh, used to uh, to guard the signal uh, of OFDM system, uh, uh, it, we will uh, add one. Uh, we will copy the last part of the signal to the path. Then uh, it is a guard, and also uh, can uh, make sure the the property of the system is good. Uh, high PAPR in, o uh, in OFDM system. What is PAPR? It is peak to average park ratio. Uh, this is the function. Uh, just like uh, the figure shows, uh, the error point is the is peak power, and uh, this is the average power. So, uh, if the PAPR is very high, 
uh, uh, it means that there is some peak powers in uh, in the signal. So when the signal passes through the uh, high power amplifier, uh, it is very very hard to ensure the linearity of the power amplifier. So the signal will be distorted and the big average will increase. This is uh, CCDM. It means that uh, the PAPR exceeds a uh, threshold, the proper, uh, probabilities. Uh, in this figure, we can see that uh, for PAPR equals to 8 dB, uh, the property, uh, the probability is about uh, 10 times minus uh, 0.9. This is the first techniques to uh, reduce PAPRs. Uh, we call it clipping. The basic idea is if the signal exceeds one threshold I assign, uh, I will cut it. And uh, if it is, it is smaller than the threshold, I will also cut it. Uh, this is the, uh, the signal after clipping. Uh, I mean the, the red one and the blue one is the original signal. You can see the, the some some peak uh, some peak uh, power power uh, is cut it is cut. And this is the result of uh, simulation. Uh, I choose the clipping factor of 0 0.03 and uh, compare it to the original signal. Uh, I found that at PAPR equals to 7 dB, uh, the the probability of PAPR uh, larger than, uh, than 7 dB is about uh, a flaw, uh, decrease from 10 times minus 0.5 to 10 times 0.3. And uh, the, the figure on the right is I use many clipping factors to simulate the, the result. And then from there we can see that even uh, I use very small small uh, clipping fa factors, the, the result is not changed much. Uh, uh, so clipping is not very efficient techniques for PPR reduction. And uh, also clipping uh, shows that clipping distorts the signal. Uh, it, it cuts some peak power, uh, but uh, after clipping, the signal is not the original one. So uh, this is problem clipping in introduces. Uh, after clipping, the signal is distorted and uh, so the bit error rate increase. This is many uh, simulations uh, with many clipping method. Uh, we can clearly see that uh, for SNR equals to 5 dB, uh, the bit error rate of uh, without clipping is about uh, time times minus 2.8. And uh, this clipping is a factor of 0.3. The BR increased to time, uh, my, uh, time times minus. And it's not 0.9. 